Hi all, it's Jack from Preact here, and today we're going to be taking a look at forecasts within Dynamics 365. Forecasts allow us to track data against targets and gives us a great view of where we are in the current financial year, allowing us to make informed strategic decisions. Forecasting allows us to break down our data by products, territory, organization structure, and more. Let's go and take a look at how this works. We're currently looking at our forecast page. For this example, we're looking at our opportunity pipeline by salesperson. We have a hierarchy of salespeople with Martin at the top and others below him. As well as other salespeople, we can have subgroups such as Fiona's group here. Clicking into this group can see that we have Fiona and Mark as their own team. Each salesperson and subgroup can have their own target that we can see here on the target column. At the top we have our total target for all the salespeople and we can see our individual and subgroup targets below. For instance, the whole group is aiming for 150,000, Martin and Richard are aiming for 30,000 each, Fiona's group is aiming for 60,000 and so on. Next to our target column we have our 1. This is looking at all of the opportunities in the system that we've won and then working out how close we are to the target. For instance, our overall target is 150,000, we've won 183,527, which works out to be 56% of our total target. Clicking on the one column will allow us to sort by all of these one opportunities, and we can see exactly what we have won. Next to one, we have pipeline. This is everything that we've currently got in the pipeline. This can give us a nice overview of what business we may have coming, and we can calculate if we think we're going to reach our targets using that data. We also have some other fields in here, such as best case, committed, omitted, and lost. Let's take a look at how these are set. If we click on our overall group, we can see all of our opportunities. If we go into one that's currently still open, once the opportunity is loaded, you can see here we've got a forecast category field. This is where we choose where we would like to place this opportunity. For instance, is it in our pipeline? Is this a best case scenario? Is this person committed? Omitted? And we've also got the won and lost options here. However, it is worth noting that when you close the opportunity as won or lost, this value will be automatically filled out. When viewing the opportunities that we've currently got available, at the bottom you can see that we have the ability to sort of all of our opportunities. Clicking into each individual person will show only their opportunities as well. We can also sort on these columns, for instance if I want to sort by status reason, I can see my lost at the top, my in progress, and what's been won. I can also show this as a Kanban view, showing pipeline, best case, committed, omitted, won, and lost. This is really cool because it allows us to easily move our opportunities between these stages. For instance, if I want to change this bathroom refit from pipeline to committed, I can just drag it and drop. And you can see that it will update the values within here. As you can see, sales forecasting can be a really powerful tool to see what's coming in the future. Please get in touch with us if you have any questions regarding forecasting. Like this video if you've enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to the Preact YouTube channel if you want to see more videos about Dynamics 365 and the Power Platform in the future.